This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a vendor type list. Now, a vendor type list can be used to categorize the type of vendors that your company does business with. For example, in the left pane is a list of all of Joe's Landscaping's sample vendors. If I double click on one of the vendors, then click the additional info tab, you will see a vendor type field. Now if you click the drop down arrow in the vendor type field, you will see that QuickBooks already has several default vendor types. Now when you create a new vendor or edit a vendor, you can select one of the vendor types from the drop down menu, then use this information to create a report similar to the one that you see here based on the vendor type. So now I'm going to show you how to add a vendor type to this list and then show you how to create this report that you see here. So click on the list menu, then go down to customer and vendor profile lists, then click vendor type list. Now once again, here are all of QuickBooks default vendor types. Now I'm going to create a new vendor type called flowers because Joe's Landscaping does business with many different vendors that sells flowers. So to create a new vendor type, click the vendor type button at the bottom left and then select new. Or you can press control N on your keyboard. In the vendor type field, type in the name of the vendor type. Then click OK to save your changes. Now my vendor type has been added, which is flowers. Now I'm going to categorize a few of the vendors according to the vendor type in the list that you see here. So click on the vendors icon on the QuickBooks home page, or you can click the vendors menu, then select vendor center. And I'm going to double click on the first vendor, then click the additional info tab. In the vendor type drop down list, I'm going to select flowers then click OK to save my changes. Then I'm going to double click on the next vendor, then click the additional info tab, and in the vendor type drop down menu, I'm going to select suppliers, then click OK to save my changes. Now let's run the report based on the vendor types that I have chosen. So click the reports menu, go down to list, then select vendor contact list. Now this is the default configuration for this report. I'm going to remove some of the columns and then add the vendor type column. So click the customize report button and I'm going to deselect a few of the columns. And now I'm going to add the vendor type column. Then click OK to save my changes. Now the vendor type column has been added and you can see how I have categorized my various vendors. So now I'm going to filter this report to only show a specific vendor type. So once again, click on the Customize Report button, then click Filters. Locate the Vendor Type field and select it. In the Vendor Type drop-down menu, select the type of vendor that you want to be displayed in the report. I'm going to select Tax Agency, then click OK. Now only the tax agencies are shown in this report. Now if you want more than one vendor type to be displayed in this report, click Customize Report again. Click the Filters tab, locate the Vendor Type field and select it. Click the drop down arrow in the Vendor Type field, then select Multiple Vendor Types. Choose the types of vendors that you want to be displayed in the report. I'm going to select Tax Agency and Flowers. Then click OK, and then click OK again to update the report. And now only my Flowers and Tax Agency vendors are shown in the report. And that is how you create a vendor type list and a report based on the vendor types. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, this is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.